So the interesting thing that I've been realizing, especially being kind of like uh, stepping back as a teacher and like letting, letting St. Germain and letting the Ascended Masters come and work through me is just how just just how amazing they are with each and every person that they work with like i've never seen them do the same session twice obviously they work with your belief systems but they also push you i can see that they're pushing and they also are holding you to like a high level of of what you are wanting versus what you are living and um it's been really good for me to just kind of step back and be like oh like i don't it's difficult to pay attention a lot because it's like that lucid state. But at the same time, there are nuggets where I'm like, Ooh, yes, <laughs> that's for me too. <laughs> you know? So it's been really, really good to kind of see all of you. And one thing that I noticed like across the board is that all of you guys in this group, you guys are not, you guys are not beginners. You know, you've studied spirituality or you're trained healers or you're trained practitioners or, you know, you've been working in the metaphysics world for a while. And this, the closer you get to ascen the ascension, when I say ascension, the closer you get to your home frequency, the easier it's going to be. Now, with that being said, the harder it is for you to do because of how easy it is. And I know a lot of you guys, if you've had that second session, sec second session or that third session, it's like, it, it's almost a little scary how easy it is. Okay. Like just do this, 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 and this. And so the last session, I know a few of you have had the last session. The last session is called basically Lazarus. And it is, uh, it's kind of like an ego list and some of you guys will get like i think i've talked about it in some sessions and then if you are working with the ascended masters you are going to get the actual protocol and what that is is kind of like the second session is the resurrection of your inner child so if you if you remember me saying early in the year that the bible the scripture is the treasure map Okay. And it was really good for me to hear that they confirmed that because I was like, I don't know, is it, <laughs> you know, it is. And, and all of the little, all the little things in the Bible that happens, especially in the new Testament, you know, Jesus, uh, saving a, a little child that was already dead or the woman who was bleeding for 12 years or Lazarus who was dead for four years. These are all very significant points to your journey. Okay. They symbolize your part of the ascension. So it's like you're playing all of these characters. So whenever there was like a child being resurrected, that was your inner child being resurrected. Because you cannot get through the threshold to the fifth dimension with your adult. As you guys are learning from that second session with the Ascended Masters, if you're getting it. You can't. There's no way because your adult is hijacked into the matrix. Like you don't even know what's right or wrong over there. Like when you start to question the inner child, what's the definition of right or wrong? And then you ask your adult what's right or wrong. It's going to be a different story. And so this is why I thought from now until maybe like the till we get into the deep summer that we could study the idea of the kingdom. And the kingdom, I think, is going to be great because it's this, it's another matrix. And what I realized about myself and all of us is that I think the reason why this simplicity is so difficult is because we do not have anything to compare it to, right? Like, we know this world, we know this life, we know these consequences, we know this time, space. Now, we have a knowing in our heart. We have our imagination. We have, uh, you know, kind of a recall point as far as like remembering certain things. Some of us can get into the Akashic Records. And so there is like a, a knowledge that it is true, but there is no certainty. There is no, there's no time spent. So it's like if, if you've never left your home city and someone's like, let's go to Europe. Like, imagine how terrifying that would be for you, especially if you had BB systems that, you know, that nobody makes it over there or 
or, you know, it's not safe over there, or I'm going to have to give up my identity and I'm going to have to give up my personality. And, and again, this is, this is like, these are questions that I had as well, because once you start to kind of like not, I mean, none of us have ever fit in 3D bottom line, but we have all, we have at the same time, we've found ways to be here. Okay. We found, we've found ways to be here. And, and now many of us, and again, not all of us are being like pushed, but a lot of you are, are not really feeling like you have a choice anymore. You know, where, when your higher self kind of steps in and starts fasting certain areas of your life, that's how, you know, it's your time. And there will be many, many spiritual people who are not going to go through what you are growing through right now. And, and you're probably looking at them like, why are they not experiencing this? It's not their time. It's not their time. And if you're witnessing this and you're not necessarily experiencing the things that we've been talking about, it's not your time. But it's such a great seed to have for you when it is. It's such a or it's to help someone else. Right. It's all it's there's an important reason for you to be here. So with that being said, the closer that I get to that home frequency where it's like I start to kind of live there in certain elements. So one thing that St. Germain said in a session, I don't remember who it was or when it was, because but what he was saying was um, that it's an actual world. The kingdom is an actual world. It's your home. It's where your spirit is. Your spirit has never been in the third dimension. It is where all of your stuff is. Okay. And that's how you have certain knowings inside of you. And it's just a, basically it's, it's your heart's frequency. So it's like your, and you've heard spiritual teachers talk about North star, right? You've heard, you've heard them talk about just follow that, follow your highest excitement, Bashar, right? And again, when you are hearing that, the distortion factor Ego can take that in 10 different directions. Ego can take follow your highest excitement all the way left. It can be an urge, it can be a craving, and it can be addiction. So again, you have to remember that Bashar has never been physical, ever. Never stepped foot into the third dimension, ever. So again, that they don't know what it's like to have a carnal primal body that is hungry and thirsty all the time for something. Hungry for knowledge, thirsty for attention, whatever it is, it's going to be constantly needing something. And that is what we are used to feeding, right? And so then when we start to do all of this inner work where we're like, no, stay in your star seed and stay in the stillness and, you know, be still and know that I am God. It's, it is really difficult for us to understand why. I think that's where, where I want to start taking it because as I'm doing these sessions is I, I'm, I'm starting to see the deer in the headlights in the sessions with you guys, with them, where you're like, yeah, but there's like, what does this mean? Like, how, how is, how can this be so easy? How can this be so easy? You know? And so like the further away you are, right. It seems like, oh, this is going to be easy. Okay. And then the closer you get, it is easy, but you feel like it's taking forever. And one thing I want to point out is something they said to me this morning is I'm going to be 49 this year. And so I have 49 years practicing the matrix, 49 years in my body, in my mind, in my soul. And so probably out of 49 years, I might have had one year total spent with my higher self. And that's in moments. That's not one year, like all together. That might've been like five minutes here, one hour here. So only one of those years. So which one is more familiar, right? Which one am I, which one am I more used to? Which one's more comfortable? Which one is more normal? Even though it doesn't feel normal, it's going to be like a little, it's going to take a little bit more time to get the whole entire system deregulated and then re-regulated, you know, because it's like each chakra, each cell. So, and what St. Germain has been saying in the last four sessions, at least five sessions, at least is, is that your entire system is going to die at different times in this life. 
So this is the first incarnation where we don't ascend through death, kind of like Jesus died and came back three days, right? What we're doing is parts of us are dying. And then those different parts are then going to come back online and then another part's going to die. And I'm not just talking about your physical body. I'm talking about your energy body, your etherical body, your emotional body. And I know you can relate to this because you've had some of these little experiences where it you know, you'll have these weird body things happen, right? I, I mean, I know because I've been talking to you and you can't understand it. Every single person that I've talked to has had some sort of psychosomatic going on that no doctor can really find besides hormone imbalance, right? And so again, that can be those places are where the body is like going through its death experience. Because remember, your body completely...